welcome back to the channel and today is going to be a different type of video as you can tell by the title and it is going to be how I decorated my coffee table. This is the first time I buy a home so I want to make sure everything's perfect. So I thought it'd be so cool and amazing to just document exactly how my whole thought process, my buying process, show you guys a finished product, talk about each item. So if you guys like these household decorating videos, give me a thumbs up because there's so much more to come. So let's get on to the video. just showing you a complete overview exactly how it looks I love how everything just looked with my sofas the whole room I'm going with the whole beige medium beige tone and I did pick some greech colors for my paint all right guys first I'm going to talk to you about each item and I'm really excited to share with you guys with this and I did pick up all this at TJ Maxx when I found all this at TJ Maxx it made everything so much easier I love their decor they're pretty up to par when it comes to staying in fashion, so to speak, even with their clothing, but I love their house stuff. I know they can be a little bit more pricier than like Ross and, well, they're kind of like close to Marshalls and Home Goods, but I have a TJ Maxx here, so that's where I go. But let's just get right into it. First, I wanted to put a plant. I'm going to show you an overview of the whole entire table so you can kind of see what I'm talking about and how I am placing the items. And first, I did go with a plant. And this right here is the plant that I chose. It does have a gold rimming in the bottom and it's really pretty it is a rubber plant it does have like the green dirt in here it doesn't have the dirt exactly so to speak and it is gray up here which is perfect with my decor as you can tell behind I will be doing a house tour and how I chose everything but as you can tell my couches are beige I have like this brownish here but I also have a big decorative sofa that color and I also have this one right here which is my pattern accent chair but I thought this was so pretty because I do have also a pretty gold mirror hanging above the back of this couch right here. And I think you will catch it in the video. If you don't, I will again show you the whole finished product of my home. So stay tuned for that. But this is the plant I chose and I did pay $12.99 for this plant. On my tray, on my coffee table, I did want to create some type of dimension. So I did go with this beautiful candle holder. It did come with this glass part inside and it did come with this obviously and you just stick it inside it's super simple I got it TJ Maxx I think for maybe $12.99 $14.99 not really sure on that price but that's probably what I spent and I think it's so beautiful it's such a classy piece and this is what it looks like it is a little oiled bronze and it does have this pretty glass inside of it what I really love about this is because I can stick a candle in it and I love putting candles in my living room it just makes it such a homey feeling so I did just go with marshmallow fireside which I already had as you can tell I burned it a little bit but I love that cozy feeling and I like how it looks like next to the glass it doesn't throw it off too much you can still kind of keep the look of it all right next is going to be the coasters that I chose and the reason I have coasters is because I love sitting in the living room with my family and guests and we like having coffee and drinking and relaxing and I don't want to ruin my expensive coffee table so I went with these stone coasters they are made in India I got them they are white like marble I think or it's not really sure what kind of stone it is. I will try to put it across the screen for you guys. But it's this pretty shiny coasters. It did come with four. And I think I paid about $8 for them. But like you saw in the clip, or I will show you now, is how they just kind of add some type of dimension to the coffee tray. And obviously, I'm not going to show you guys my remotes that I put in there. But it is such a great place to put your remotes. And my table is very, like, rectangle it's square, but it's really big. So the baby really can't reach the center of it, which is why I like to stick the controllers in there so he cannot reach that. Lastly, I did choose this tray right here. It is a lighter wood, but I love how it contrasted against my black table because I did pick a, it's a wood palleted black distressed table. And I'm supposed to go with kind of like modern, traditional with a touch of farmhouse. It's very different what I'm going with. Sorry if you hear the baby in the background, but he's being pretty active right now. But I did pick these black brass things. I, I don't know if they're brass or not, but they're just metal. I think they're just metal, not brass, but they do just kind of corner the tray. And I love this tray. I think it's so beautiful. I think it adds such a nice touch. And like you guys saw how I had all the dimensions, I will put another clip for you guys so you guys see. As you can tell how the plant and everything is just flowing. There is something 
pop a little bit of a color, which would be the green, and then you have the coasters there because it's practical. Not only do I want it to look nice, I want it to be practical, which I can put my controllers, I can have my coaster. So I think it's so beautiful and I love it so much. And next to it, as you're seeing right now, I did just stick the album there. So I really like that because it's always nice to show pictures of your family. So this right here, guys, is the album that I chose. And it does say to love, laughter, happily ever after, which I think is so cute, so sweet. And I did pick this up at TJ Maxx and it holds, I think, 500 or 700 photos. And this is what we have. We have a bunch of photos there and I think it's so pretty. And it is a little bit of sparkle, a little bit of glam, not too much, but I think it's so cute and it does lighten up the table just a bit because the table, like I said, is black. But I love how this came out and I probably spent about 50 bucks to decorate the top of the table, which I think is pretty good because it's practical, it's pretty, and I think it looks great. So if you like these type of videos, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!